I'm Rick Nicholson, a uh, glass blower from Auburn, California. Uh, we've been blowing glass for over 30 years and take a lot of inspiration from the ocean. I grew up in Honolulu, so I have a, not only an ocean exposure, but I think I have quite a bit of a Asian influence in our work. Since we work in hot glass, uh, which is a very fluid medium, uh, we like to have that fluidity and that movement show in the finished pieces. We just like to have uh, an, uh, pieces that are not static, uh, pieces that have life in them. Um, so the, the new sculpture, the birds, obviously uh, we want them to look alive too. But it all comes from our, our interest in, in nature and water and fluidity and, and glass is really an appropriate medium for us to work in because of that, as opposed to clay or metal and things like that. Hi, I'm Alexa Gelfenbaum and I'm with the Palo Alto Art Center and we are here today at the Clay and Glass Festival I'm doing an art project with kids. It's going to be a uh, mosaic type piece um, for the uh, entrance to our art center when it reopens in October. It's uh, a colorful creek project so we have um, pieces of ceramics that have um, been uh, donated to the artist and she tumbled them for several days in a rock tumbler and uh, until they are smoother and um, clean of any paints and then we've been having kids and adults people of all ages have been coming up and um, decorating these pieces we had a clown piece that was interesting uh, a fish piece some people have been working off of the shape of the piece that they chose. Other people have been creating a whole new piece um, just based in their imagination. So it's really fun to be able to see people getting so involved and people who normally would be in the workplace um, in an office and they get to come here and they get to uh, really experience um, just being able to be a kid and an artist and uh, getting some creativity out and not having to think and worry and just be able to be a part of it. So. I've been doing ceramics for professionally for about 20 years and non-professionally for my entire life. I'm a, a product of a, two ceramic artists and so I grew up in a pottery studio in, um, in Boulder Creek, California. More recently I've been working on this series of busts, this series of portrait pieces over here and I found that, that, it, that the bust, and the, the, which has been you know, around since the Roman and Greek times, and even before that, dating back to the Egyptian times, is a wonderful platform for interesting, creative things to happen. I, I liked using the bust as a metaphor for, for dreams and for visions and for a various amount of creative ideas that go through the human head. Um, my latest thing has been trying to keep the human aspect of the bust asleep and to realize the, the awake aspect of the animals. And the animals are really kind of um, an important part of the work I do in the fact that I try to incorporate an animal into every piece.